I'm always on the hunt for places that are doing things differently and also that are living more sustainably. And I found that here at the plot. They're based in Oceanside, they're plant-based and they're zero waste. They also have multiple gardens on their property and they're using that to cook the foods here. I got a chance to talk to the owners and learn more about their philosophy. Our main focus is to just bring food to people that is super, super comforting and familiar and delicious while still making sure it's nutritious and environmentally respectful too. So it's kind of a balance between, um, you know, all of the things that we want to aspire to, but still all of the things that we love about food, a really great dining experience, great service um, and great flavors. The plot is what you call hyper local. It's a plant based restaurant run by a husband and wife that has in a sense created its own ecosystem. They use the produce from their gardens and their dishes. They recycle unused water from guest drinks for their plants and use every piece of their produce to avoid throwing it away, building a zero waste restaurant concept in the process. Any chef will tell you it's just the, the less distance that food has to travel, the better it's gonna be. And I mean, we were just lucky enough to have the space um, and be able to make it happen because that's, you know, having a, a garden even if it's just for fresh herbs is that's the type of thing that chefs dream about it's the the ultimate toy store jessica gave me a tour of one of her gardens behind the restaurant it's brimming with greens in every nook and cranny and if they can't source from their own gardens they try to get their produce from local neighborhood farms and so this kind of rotates just based on the seasons um we did have a lot of squash coming through but right now we're just the celery is doing really really well and that's something we can use regularly in the restaurant too so it's just kind of whatever the chefs are driving with whatever's growing really well at the moment and then what we can use on our menu jessica's mission to feed people real good for you food started when she was working in healthcare. That experience catapulted her into her next career as a restaurant owner. I was interning at hospitals and just seeing how sick people are in our community and really realizing that so much of that sickness is coming from our food system. And that was just this big wake up to where, no, it's our responsibility as restaurant owners, as purveyors of food, to make sure that what we're, what we're feeding people isn't just going to fill them up, but it's going to make them stronger, healthier, happier, more inspired and all the things. So that's kind of the goal here too, is to just shake things up a little bit and get people inspired about what they're eating. That inspiration is in the heart of their kitchen where their team gets creative in finding new ways to avoid sending anything to a landfill. The goal, find a way to use every piece of food that comes through their doors. Just like a, uh, an animal butcher has a chart of an animal and they've got all these different cuts that suit all these different purposes, it's the same with plants once you start getting into it, it becomes fun. David is the executive chef of the plot. He shared that his dad grew up in London after World War II and had a ration during the war. And it's that concept of not wasting that was a big part of his life growing up. He'd run around behind my brother and me closing doors and flipping light switches and stuff like that. So not being wasteful was kind of instilled in me at a, at a very young age. Um, and it just kind of, since it was a part of me, it became part of the cooking. When we think of food waste, it seems like such a lofty goal to be zero waste at all. But the plot has inspired me to look at what and how I'm using the food I eat and the ways I can move closer to a zero waste footprint. If we took notes from what the plot is doing and applied it in our own everyday lives, imagine the impact. First of all, like eating should be fun. It should be inspiring. It should make us feel good about our bodies. Like it's not just this thing that we're like, okay, let's get this done and move on. Like eating is about community and about cele celebrating flavors and, and really celebrating what we're taking from the earth to put into our bodies. So just this idea that like, like we should really pay attention to what we're eating. Have you seen a change in your clientele? Oh, totally. It's really cool. People are, you know, proud to, oh, I saw one of your videos and, you know, I, I did this and, you know, and there's nothing cooler than like, whether it's uh, a guest or a friend, you know, um, or a, a young chef on, on Instagram or something like you see somebody grab an idea that we put out there and come back and do it better. I think they call it evolution because when humans work together for positive things, like, we're unstoppable.